This meeting is being conducted in a hybrid format to provide multiple ways for the public to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person, virtually through GoToWebinar, and over the phone. If you dialed in today on a telephone line, the presentation is available on the project webpage at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 432-332-1. For online participants, the GoToWebinar control panel should be visible in the upper right corner of your computer screen. If joining GoToWebinar on your mobile device, simply tap the screen to display the same options. The blue arrows in both images point to where you will find the questions box. You can type a comment or question into the questions box. Then click send to submit your comment or question to staff. The red arrows in both images point to where you can find handouts, documents, and comment forms for this public meeting. Click the handouts icon to see available handouts. Click on the file name to download. If you happen to experience a technical issue during this meeting, please type the issue into the questions box on the GoToWebinar control panel or send an email to aashby at inwitink.com to report it. You may also call 407-494-1009. Staff will do their best to assist you. The purpose of tonight's meeting is to explain the project goals, present the department's recommended improvements to help achieve those goals, and hear from the community about the proposed changes. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Jennifer Smith, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Deland, Florida, 32720, by phone at 386-943-5367, or email at jennifer.smith2 at dot.state. .fl.us. You may also contact Jacqueline Paramore, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Suwanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450, by phone at 850-414-4753, or email at jacqueline.paramore at dot.state.fl.us. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location, on the project website, and in the meeting notifications. This resurfacing project is on State Road 19, from State Road 50 to West Oleander Avenue in Lake County, between Groveland and Howie in the Hills, about 12 miles long. The purpose of the project is to enhance safety and operations for drivers, pedestrians, and bicyclists. By rehabilitating the asphalt pavement to extend the service life of the existing roadway and making roadside and safety improvements. In addition to repaving this segment of State Road 19, the project will provide a new southbound left turn lane at County Road 478 by widening to accommodate traffic volumes and improve operational safety. Bicycle lanes will be provided as paved shoulders and five foot unmarked keyholes at right turn lanes. Sidewalk curb ramps will be reconstructed and upgraded to comply with current Americans with Disabilities Act or ADA standards. Drainage adjustments will also be made. And the existing shoulder at the US 27 or State Road 25 off-ramp will be widened for operational safety. Looking at the details of the project, the existing typical section includes 12-foot wide travel lanes with 8-foot shoulders with 4 feet paved in each direction. This project proposes to rehabilitate and resurface approximately 12 miles of the State Road 19 roadway, including interchange ramps at US 27. At County Road 478, or Cherry Lake Road, along with the milling and resurfacing, a 1,500-foot-long segment of State Road 19 will be widened to provide a new 12-foot left turn lane from southbound State Road 19 to eastbound Cherry Lake Road. This is being done to accommodate increased traffic volumes and to improve operational safety. The department is coordinating with a private developer who is making intersection improvements at Lake Emma Road under a separate private project. Along with the milling and resurfacing, 
a new sidewalk will be provided along northbound State Road 19 from Florida Avenue to Oleander Avenue. This rural sidewalk will be set approximately 26 feet away from the roadway. From Oleander Avenue to Lakeview Avenue, along with the milling and resurfacing, a new sidewalk will be provided. The sidewalk will be located on the northbound direction at the back of the existing curb. We are currently in the design phase of the project schedule. Final design is anticipated to be completed in spring 2023. All work will be done within the existing right-of-way, and no right-of-way costs are anticipated. Construction is funded and expected to start in early 2024. We encourage your input and feedback about this project, and there are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record, and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by Wednesday, September 14, 2022, 14 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing. To submit a comment or question online, please type the comment or question in the questions box on the GoToWebinar control panel. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 432-332-1. You may also contact the project manager directly by email at kevin.powell at dot.state.fl.us or by U.S. mail at the Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 542, DeLand, Florida, 32720. You may also call the project manager at 386-943-5425 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. To learn more about the project, please visit cflroads.com. Type the project number 432-332-1 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the website now. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on this project. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by Wednesday, September 14, 2022. Contact information, a recording of this presentation, project documents, and other exhibits displayed at the public meeting are posted on the project website at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 432-332-1. Thank you again and have a good evening.